Welcome, everyone. My name is Stefan, CEO of Akave. Uh, we are in Falcoin L2, enabling programmable data for Deepin and AI. How many of you today are storing data in the cloud? Raise your hand. Yeah, pretty much everyone. Um, yet we are at a crypto conference talking about decentralization. Uh, what is happening today? So what we're seeing in the last couple of months, and definitely this year, is a increased interest in data monetization. So data monetization is, in my opinion, really driving not just the uh, adoption and growth of data, but in general, more high value data sets that are being created by Deepin. If you look at Deepin as a whole, as a market itself, is going to be a three and a half trillion uh, market by 2028. Uh, second, we see a ton more data sets being generated by Gen AI. So AI and LLMs are generating brand new data sets and content. And what's interesting to see as well is that a lot more Web2 businesses are also looking at re-innovating their customer base by providing new services uh, where the content creator economy is really taking off, meaning users that are currently part of a platform could contribute in delivering new content that could be sold to other users in the um, data monetization market. So data monetization requires new architectures. It's not easy to do. Users today are looking for programmability. Not every single data set is the same. Not every data set is valued the same way. Today, we're seeing a ton more LLMs being created, and it's a lot easier to sell a highly curated, trained LLMs than providing your own data sets and sharing those data sets. So we are seeing more users and businesses looking at new ways of monetizing their data sets through these LLMs, and they're looking for programmability. They're looking for the data to be stored local, um, or what we would call availability, so locality. Uh, some of them want it to be stored in a certain region, look at GDPR in Europe. Others want it to be very close to the GPUs that they're just purchased to really optimize and do fine tuning on their LLM. So the re region, uh, locality, availability is super important. And then third is traceability. So what we're seeing is a lot more users are struggling today with existing cloud infrastructure that is using central databases to track and then uh, reward those that have contributed uh, to creating the content in an accurate and transparent way. So traceability is very important, definitely as you're growing and scaling out your uh, uh, community. And uh, more importantly is also demonstrating the verifiability proof of ownership, guaranteeing that the data that you've created is still the same data and actually is legit, is immutably stored, is validated on a regular basis. Those are all key requirements that we're seeing from many customers that we've been talking to in the Akavi ecosystem. And more importantly, um, you know, when you're looking at all of this, what users are looking for or businesses are looking for is the ability to manage these large data sets, but also small data sets as one big repository, what we call a data lake. A data lake is a very known concept in Web2, but what's different is that these primitives actually require a full new technology, which we all know very well, which is blockchain enabled, uh, which gives us the opportunity to create on-chain data lakes. And so when we talk to a lot of users, they love the concept of blockchain powered storage. They love the concept of crypto when it comes to the features it provides, but it's super hard to use. A lot of customers today and builders they're still building on Web2 infrastructure. All of you showed your hands, right? It's great that we're building uh, these new applications that are blockchain enabled, minting NFTs, minting new tokens, incentivizing awesome communities. But in the end, like when it comes to storing data, when, it's, when it comes to utilizing compute, it's really, too hard, it's really hard to use. So users want simple bridges. And this is where Akavi comes in. What we're doing today is we are enabling customers to simply move their data sets from existing clouds into decentralized storage and take advantage of all the primitives that come with blockchain. First, we provide an S3 compatible API and that allows users to take their existing Web2 applications and point it to Akave, bring their data sets on chain, save up to 80% cost savings thanks to decentralized storage, and take advantage of the cryptographic proofs to make their data programmable. And what can you do with programmability? You can set your own price. You can define how much it costs for anyone in this ecosystem to retrieve your data sets, so it helps you monetize your data sets. And then of course, you can replicate, protect, and uh, distribute your data in the way that you would like to organize it. 
Here's an example of Deepin for a Deepin architecture where an on-chain data lake can be deployed in a hub closer to the Falcon uh, storage providers, meaning Akave will enable users uh, and current storage providers to uh, manage data sets on the storage provider systems uh, as a hot storage layer. And it can also be deployed in the deep end devices for those deep end networks that are looking for end-to-end -end data provenance from the device all the way to the core data center. Because the closer you are to the creation of the content, the more accurate and the better you can transparently reward back those content creators without any dispute. So today, um, users can not only store data on Akave, um, but we also support subnets. Why is that important? It's important because when you're talking to enterprise customers, they want certain security um, uh, attributes, meaning they want, they want to run some of these uh, storage nodes in their own data centers. And for us with Akave, we support uh, multiple subnets. One subnet could be very customized for an enterprise. Second one could be uh, optimized for a deep end network, or it could be optimized for a specific community. And so the benefits here is that with this ability, we can enable more L3s and we can customize it to what those users really want and optimize it not just for performance and cost, but also for security. Now, if you look at the market, how big is the market? Now, the object storage market on its own is already a $134 billion market this year alone. And I'm talking just about the nearline and archive storage. This does not include all the new data sets that are being created by Deepin and AI use cases. This is just the market that exists today in Web2 that we can go after. So again, the market is huge. The opportunity is big. And now is actually a good... Um, this year specifically is a really good opportunity for us to go after this market because no, more and more enterprises, more and more deep end networks are coming to life and are understanding the benefits and the importance of a verifiable storage stack. And it's our belief that in the future, all transactions will happen on chain and all data transactions will happen on chain. And this is what we are trying to enable here with Akave. Now, what is our biggest announcement of today? Two announcements. One, uh, we have raised 3.45 million from major investors, Protocol Labs, Blockchain, Lightshift, and Blockchain Builders Fund, which is awesome. Thank you. Um, second, we're also now announcing our Yuka testnet here at ETH Global. So if you're a builder, if you're an enterprise, you want to dabble into decentralized storage, you want to play around, come check us out. Scan the code. There are multiple prizes to be, uh, to be won. And not only that, we would like your feedback. We want to know what your requirements are, what you want to do with your applications, which applications you would like to point to um, the Akave network, and uh, help us uh, with our design and grow the community. Last but not least, if you want to know more, you want, go to, you want to go deeper into uh, our stack, learn, get to know us, please join us at a workshop on Thursday, the 14th of November here in Bangkok, for those who are here. If not, uh, please connect with us on our website, on Discord, and yeah, looking forward to meeting you all. So thank you very much.